We have a couple of things to do before we do get into the um, to the scripts themselves. But first, this will happen. We have a we have a very special uh, guest uh, who appeared uh, very recently and uh, just basically wanted to say hello. Well, hello, children. <laughs> Together again. <laughs> Except for uh, me. Oh, and Teal'c, I guess. Huh? Um, listen, have fun, misbehave, um, but don't, you know, don't blow it for Brad on this. <laughs> or AI, whoever, um, whoever you don't want to blow it for, for whom you don't want to blow. <laughs> Haven't changed. Kids miss everybody. Oh, Not everybody. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, we, we, we were struggling to, to get that uh, to, to me uh, uh, all day yesterday. <laughs> it was so much fun. It's so good that uh, that he wanted to join in. That's hilarious. Um, that was. Absolutely delightful, and uh, having never met Richard Dean Anderson um, is precisely what I'd expect. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Oh, well, that's so sweet that he did that. Yeah, it is. It really is. It really is, and uh, and uh, it, you know, very funny at the same time. Now, it was brought to my attention that I was not the only person who lobbied to be a part of today. I think we. I think we have a video to show. Jesus. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, my name is Debbie Hewlett. I'm five foot nine and three quarters. <laughs> I am six foot two. <laughs> Hello, my name is David Hewlett. I'm six foot two and a half. <laughs> I don't quite understand what you're doing. <laughs> well, let's use a light. Use just a light. Open the pod doors, Hal. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Well, what's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, it's, it's your it's your line next, Dad. Are there more lines? I thought it was just that one. That's the only one I know. <laughs> oh, oh, this was. Oh genius. God! Look away! Look away! <laughs> wow. That's a little Blade Runner for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just love that it's a puffin as well. That's all we had. We didn't have any other verse. Oh, so, yeah. Baby. Oh, Terminator. Man. That's my bicycle. That's my bicycle light. Wait, okay. I just shoved my bicycle light in my in my eye. Why is it not? Oh, but, I'm losing the eyelash. But honestly, I think Mark was saying this. The true genius of this is actually my son's off-camera, uh, just deadpan delivery. He yes, gives Mark he a run right. for his money on this. It's getting hot too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, Michael and Jewel were direct offers. They didn't have to audition, so it That's worked it. out. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's important to get in there early, I find. <laughs> Let's segue to the scripts. Let's do what we came to do and and witness firsthand the evolution of an artificial intelligence uh, learning how to write a Stargate script. This first script is called Enemy Detector. Interior Atlantis Corridor. Daniel and Carter look out the window at San Francisco Bay. Well, the point is, we, we don't know if the Russians are still out there. What? Well, we have a few friends of them. I have enough anesthetic to fight. McKay and Keller exchange looks. If I really have to find out why we stopped? Yeah, well, it, it's not showing me the alien. I mean, the ancients were originally aware of any other science project. The lights go out. Well, I think we should explain to them that Theo downloads the exact design of fishes. Well, with respect, this maps to the galaxy with primality to the eradication. No. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come on. Come. What? Okay, well, I appreciate you telling me. How? I'm sorry, but we're dealing with two beings within a small and experimental field. 
We should rest. The door opens and a man enters. I think it's a Ford. How? I don't want to penetrate the Duracking. Well, I guess that was happening to them up the knack. And if possible, I'd like to make every effort to rescue Chaka. <laughs> Huh? No, 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 demon. We got apopespect. It's a matter of coordinates. It, I'm warpers. I'm pretty sure I can. We also cannot serve the way that leads to disease after the Hammond in the sample has visorsional explodes. I know. It's a periage. We've, we've just found the key to the place. It's like it, it's more like a computer in the new source. No, 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 no. You should not uh, rock him. Maybe he's closing in orbit. I, I, I don't know. Only that they're Russian. The device has to see the Ori and all that they do. What is it? Well, I, I guess there's no easy way to say this. You sure? So if we blow up, they're all out. The Stargate is now active. What is that? The door opens and a man walks in. She looks at him, he looks at her, and she looks at him. <laughs> It's against. Well, the only way to find out is to send them out. I, I noticed a depth. Maybe they seem to have reloaded to fly the solar system. Carter and Daniel are startled. Just be out of cumul. Carter and Daniel exchange looks. An explosion rocks the bridge. The team is beamed away. Oh, please, just, I, I don't like them. I mean, w we could stay here. Maybe, maybe you should come down from there. It, it, it sounds like it's... He looks at her intently for a moment, then his expression grows cold. I think I'm going to be the Daniel. <laughs> Soupy dog. Carter and Daniel reappear on screen. Daniel looks nervous while Carter is looking over some schematics. This is Daedalus. Hey, Rodney, you have to give me a look at this. Oh, I can't just take that you're real. You know what? How come I'm not Ellen? I was thinking it's me. So do I. It would take months to reverse to engineer a cure. I'm not even sure it's possible. What? I, I, I think they're set. We have no way of knowing how things could send radiation or adaptive up the up to affectation of proximity to Regigas propensity. Mm -hmm. Carter looks at Daniel, who then looks around the room, hopefully. What's going on? I don't know. Look, 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 I know you don't have to go to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't think you knew. I mean, I did not just wing rack anything, but it, it is is a look at um uh, Elizabeth. The room shakes. Is that Michael's cruiser? It's here. Whoa. Oh, wow. And see. <laughs> oh. Now, now, Amanda, it, I think, don't you think it's fabulous to hear Mark saying, he looks at her, she looks at him, he looks at her. I mean, no, it's hard to write that shit, let me tell yeah. you. I feel that Mark should be there just reading stage directions, even if it was the show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I'd As watch part that. of the show. I'd watch, I'd watch that. that. My favorite line, honestly, was, we should rest. It just... <laughs> it just... Oh, yeah? I'm going to be the Daniel. <laughs> That's good too. Like that a lot of good ones. But there's nothing that drives the scene forward more than the line, we should rest, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I loved when Daniel called McKay a demon and uh, McKay's response was, it's a matter of coordinates. Matter I'm going to use that. <laughs> Expl explain to me again, because I do not understand. Um, it's not trying to emulate alien languages. It's simply combining English words. Like nothing you, nothing you, dear viewer, uh, just witnessed was misspoken. There was some stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> it was word yeah, freaking it... perfect. Oh, I forgot. I just moved and um, I found my jacket. Oh, oh cool. my God. Oh, that's great. You know, Jane, my, by my wife, Jane, was at the SG-1 um, premiere because she was covering it for E. And she had a nasty habit of stealing the table centerpieces of anything she went to. So, because she was always there after they cleaned up. And so the other day we found, get this. 
Check this. Check this out. Oh my god! Wow. They were they were made out of plumbing, like plumbing things, and a bit of tape on them. And they they put these on the. They had a little light on the top. And so J- Jane stole this. I thought I should give it back. Um, <laughs> back to who? I, exactly. But isn't that wild? Stargate AI script number four, Seeking Destiny. Interior jumper cockpit. Daniel and Keller in a puddle jumper over a vast glittering ocean. They exchange looks. Okay, I know, but what do you mean by all that? Well, I, I think we've been over this. It's important to you. It'd be great to have the company. You know. Look, you guys are the best of the best. I'm sure if you work together, you'll come up with something. I think we've been over this. This is a completely different scenario. The the word on the stones would... Well, I'm eager to meet them too. Well, we have a couple of options. Number one, we give them hope. We need to know what happened. We think we can turn it off. All right, and then you can see them again. I, I think so. Yeah, no kidding. Well, maybe we could pass the time by getting to know each other better. What if I read? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. I would much Not rather read into it. it. <laughs> you know what's interesting about this is that uh, Jewel and I have never acted together. Never. Ever. We've been friends forever. Um, the characters never interacted at all. No. Not, not, we don't even think I don't we think so. did no. high in passing. No. Um, so yeah. it's interesting that, that uh, this is kind of, it's, it's not quite coherent, but there's actually like, I don't know, there's something unexpected happening there. It's just kind of, it's, I find it interesting. I love yeah, it. Because I the characters it. never seen mm-hmm. time. Yeah. It's not, it's not coherent, but if you turned on the television and, th- and this was already in progress, you'd be like, well, it's just because there's stuff I don't know. Like, right. you wouldn't guess it's a mistake. You wouldn't guess that it's gibberish or what have you. And uh, I, I think what if I read is a great line and should belong in a future script <laughs> that I write. <laughs> you know, especially in a flirtatious moment. What if I read? Yes. You know, it's perfect. <laughs> or I can read, of course. This is a treasure trove of future Easter eggs for yeah, yeah. anywhere you want to plant them, isn't it? That's true. Yeah. If I, if I, uh, on my next show, if, if there is a next show, it, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. And we also have a similar question from Claire Williamson and Vicky C from our Discord. And so um, all of their questions kind of combine is, um, did, some, uh, did Sam come back to you naturally after such a long time? And have you missed her um, after reading Sam again? Great question, because uh, I was really scared about whether or not she still was in there somewhere. And then as soon as we started reading, I, I think as soon as I had the others to read opposite, um, and especially hearing Michael's voice as Daniel, it came like flooding back. Uh, and then I realized totally how much I missed her. But yeah, I was, I was nervous. I was really nervous that I wouldn't find her again. And mm-hmm. turns out she's, she's right here. 